LabVIEW for LEGO Mindstorms is the most sophisticated programming language used to control your NXT robots. This is the same software used by professional engineers and scientists around the world. With this software, you can easily configure, control, and program your robot in a matter of minutes. Let's take a quick tour of some of the features you will learn to use in the later videos. When you first start LabVIEW for LEGO Mindstorms, a Getting Started screen appears. There are many resources available here that can help you, well, get started. Let's check out some of them. In the Teach Me section, we have a step-by-step -step tutorial that will walk you through creating programs for your NXT robots. These are great if you are brand new to programming robots with LabVIEW. Next is the Challenge Me section. Here you will find challenges that will help you take your programming skills to the next level. In the Help Me section, you can find answers to all the questions you may have. Well, at least the ones related to robotics and programming. When you create a new program, the next thing that comes up is the Robot Project Center. This is the place where you can manage everything about your robot. To configure and test your robots, use the schematic editor. Let's check it out to see how easily you can get your robot moving. Inside the schematic editor, you can easily tell the software how your robot is set up by using the drop-down menus to select the various pieces you have connected to each port. These pieces can be any of the standard motors, sensors, or other devices that you can connect to your ports. In addition to telling the software what you have connected, you can actually test your connections to make sure they're working. Anytime you configure a sensor, you can start getting data immediately to verify that your connection is working. After configuring and testing the connections to your robot, you can then go in and start programming. Programming in LabVIEW is based on icons that pass data through wires to tell the robot what to do. Whether you are doing basic moves or complex coordination involving sensors and other inputs, you can do it all in LabVIEW. One last thing you'll want to know about is the Remote Control Editor. This is a part of the software where you can drive your robot with a game controller without having to worry about a lot of complicated programming. To learn more about this and get some step-by-step -step instructions on how to program your robot, be sure to watch the next few videos. Also, check out k12lab.com to get exciting projects and challenges that will help you take your robot to the next level.